The mission of Connecting Cultures is to bring the world to students in their own schools. We look at things from around the world, we talk about them, we build understanding, we break down stereotypes. Connecting Cultures offers the kids a, a safe way to look at the world and things that they were, are unfamiliar with, but they don't have to be threatened by them. As a librarian, I always see teachers looking for ways to make learning relevant and fun for the students, and Connecting Cultures does exactly that. It allows us to uh, give our students a trip, a virtual trip around the world. We were invited to go into the library to check out this, what I heard was a mobile museum, and when I got into the library, it was just this wall of artifacts from around the world. And the experience was just amazing because it, it was for students who are visual learners, um, auditory learners, and kinesthetic learners. And uh, in the end, we got to try the different spices from around the world. And I had never even tried cloves just in my mouth. And I got to try them as well. And my students actually got to touch the different artifacts from around the world. And in the end, my students and I had, we had a great time. It shows students the value of their culture. And they have fun getting up and looking around and seeing the items, whether religious items or games or toys or cultural dress. So they see things that are meaningful and important to them and it makes them eager to learn more. Connecting Cultures has always been interested in dealing with human relations and more recently we have striven to uh, incorporate our program into the curriculum that's taught in the schools and we have done so very successfully making sure that the artifacts that we have in our presentations are artifacts that would represent things that students are learning about in their 6th, 7th, and 8th grade classrooms. It allows us to access the 7th and 8th grade history standards and social studies standards. This has made my teaching so much easier. Too often we think of schools as being there for academics only, and it's not. It's where, it's where our world comes together. It's where the American world comes together. It's just one of these programs that is inclusive, so every kid finds their particular niche, but they're exposed to so many other cultures in the world. I feel it's very important to educate students about different cultures. We live in a very culturally diverse city. Um, it allows my students to see that we're not really that different, and of anything, it allows my students to get rid of that weird ick factor that they might have about different cultures. This country in particular has an obligation to bring people, people together because we are a nation of many people of many different cultures. At least in my campus, we have such a diverse group of students, everybody from Guam, from the Philippines, from El Salvador, to Mexico, to the United States, and so it's just essential, and it not only allows us to understand each other, but allows us to respect each other. We really need to step back a second and say, look at what we have in all these children, and how are we going to deal with this? How are we going to get them to appreciate one another? What I have discovered is that during a presentation, I can take kids from bewilderment to understanding and from shock to acceptance.